Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hi. Okay. I don't have a super amount of time today. Because I spent time getting ready this morning and getting everything done that I didn't do last night. Going dark. Oh, we need some defrost. Not that much. Let's see if we get some more light when we get out to the main road where there's lights and things. My only concern is whether or not this phone will stay in this mount here that I've put on the car. I need to, now that I know that there are different ones, get something different. Nobody on the road at 6.30 on a Saturday morning. Uh, I should have gotten things ready to go last night and I did not because for two nights in a row we spent uh, a night going down Nostalgia Lane with uh, the siblings going through Google Maps on a Discord call and looking at all the places we grew up and all the all the memories, see what's changed over the years, see how many images, how many times Google's gone past, see who remembers what. The whole thing started with trying to remember the name of a pizza place that was right down the street from where we grew up. I've forgotten it now. Dang it. It was funny by the time we finally came up with it because it was an unknown place that's now definitely long gone. Anyway, today, Saturday, the uh, 20th? I don't remember the date. doesn't matter. We're close to Thanksgiving. It's been a few weeks since I made it out last. The last time was uh, end of October, 30th. And then I took the rest of that weekend and played games and working towards that stuff. And then um, the following weekend was, I think it's only been two weekends since then. I don't remember how many days it's been. It was the 20th. It's almost three weeks. Whatever. I did a thing, again, that I've done once before, which was going to Bonnie's school uh, and recording her band playing the song that they're going to do. This is a project due for her master's degree where they were like, you have to record it, and you can do multiple angles, and it can be, you know, well done. So we, obviously, I've got three good video cameras I can do 4k 60 and you know that's kind of my whole spiel that I'm doing and uh, I've got all audio stuff I've got a wireless mic that I hook on her and record into that and then we set up she bought two very good large diaphragm mics um, for in the school for doing that which will also be used for all of the performances going forward and things like that where they need to be miked and then uh, I got my two mics that I use for capturing audio uh, when I go out for wildlife. Anyway, set the whole thing up, recorded the whole thing. First one seemed good. The second one, all I've done is transfer the footage so far. It's not due until, you know, next summer. I guess sometime in spring. So I haven't really done much editing besides just syncing up all the tracks and everything. Point being, I did that. And, um, working towards... Excuse me. Working towards making that an option for money where I could be hired as such for people who need video purposes. I feel more comfortable doing that because my equipment is so much better and I'm more comfortable with it. And it's kind of what I would prefer to do than doing still photography, but there are still photography opportunities more so, it seems to be. Um, over the last few weeks, I, I, I crunched numbers and came down to it, and I put myself on a budget, and I don't remember how much I've talked about this, because it's been a while since I've been doing this, but point being, I uh, am rambling. Uh, I, I'm trying to, I, I basically put myself on a full budgetary freeze until I can actually come up with money. Uh, you really can't see me. <laughs> well, there's a little bit. Um, to, until I can pay down debt, I've come. I, there was I, I've actually like instead of just going, well, here's how much I have, and here's how much I'm going to pay, and paying more than the minimums, and going eventually it'll go down. 
but never having like an actual concrete plan. Theoretically, it doesn't change too much besides the fact that I switched over to actually paying on a repayment plan, which means that it's scheduled out and I can see exactly when I'll be paying things off. Um, that, that mentally has helped a great deal, honestly. Um, just being able to address it and going, all right, in this time frame, about three years, at my current, current ability to just continue doing what I'm doing and not spend any extra, which has gone okay so far, uh, I'll be debt free in three years, which is incredible when you when I <laughs> when it's fifty thousand dollars in debt that I'm going to pay off. The point being, if I could pay it off sooner and faster, that would be great because then I can afford all the equipment that I want. Because there's so many things, so many new things. I would love to get a new still photography camera. There's lots of things for flashes and strobes and things of that nature for what I'm currently doing. Um, I may have an opportunity there as far as. Uh, getting work doing product photography, which is what I... Basically, that's what my job has turned into three days a week. Um, more more so, it depends on the projects that we're currently working on. And then another, another day is software development uh, training, where that's been... We've been going for three months now on that, and that uh, depends on the day, either a struggle or not too bad. Yesterday was pretty good. Friday, yesterday, we did uh, HTML and CSS which is web pages and how web pages look, respectively, for those two things. And that, that went much better. That sinks in a heck of a lot. Why am I not swearing? This is my stuff. A hell of a lot better. Um, that, that clicks in my brain a lot easier than the logic-based stuff of JavaScript and TypeScript and C++ and all the other things that I've been learning. Um, Nachos Navidad. Navidad? Feliz Navidad? Yeah, so Navidad. What does that mean? What are Christmas nachos? I have to look that up. I just drove past a place that said they're back, and I don't know what that means, and I'm concerned. Anyway, so it has been busy. I have been focusing my attention there. I made a portfolio. I started, um, I started working towards, you know, trying to present something. I split off so that it wasn't this. And, and made a separate, you know, Facebook. As much as I hate Facebook, that is where the majority of people do things and find photographers and stuff like that. It sucks, but I did apply that. what I'm getting at, I guess, if you can call rambling, eventually kind of arriving at a point. I am, I am working towards finding some way to split my time between the goals of things that I want to achieve, including uh, this and things for my... Uh, betterment of, you know, in well-being, you know, I exercise more, I do, I eating better, holy cow, I just looked over at how bright that is, it's a lot cloudier than I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be a lot sunnier out, anyway, uh, I applied to be, I applied for a job at the local mall, which I think that only really, I, I decided that would happen only when we got third COVID booster shots two, three weeks ago, uh, and I was like, look, all right, that, that re-ups it, masked and everything. It's bad right now, but that's I, I could be as safe as I could possibly be. I gotta find a way to bring in some more money on the side. I'm fine, I'm you know treading water, I'm good, I can get everything I need and I'm not like super penny pinching to get by. I got a raise coming up for my 40 hour a week job, but um, I wanna bring in something on the side so that I can actually afford to do these things. Because there are many things that I want to do. One of them, if you saw me putting it on right there at the beginning, was the microphone that I bought. That is a lav mic that is to, it, it goes down to USB-C, so I can just plug it straight into the phone. Because that was one of the things from the previous video I did, which was when I went out and just sat by the water and did ambient recording for a few hours. And I did everything here on the phone, and I'm holding the phone, and it's just, uh, uh, it's not great. It doesn't sound very good. I'm cupped behind it to try to get the audio, and it's not, the mic isn't, it just sucked. But I had money from Patreon, specifically, that was the only way that I was able to afford that one, uh, to buy this microphone, which seems to be in the testing of it, be doing well. This is the real test, it's going out. I decided if I'm going to do that, uh, I could put it on a clip and... Uh, a little handle and I'll walk around with that with the phone to be able to show things because that's kind of the whole point is being able to show what I'm doing and be able to talk and vlog and whatever um, so I could put that on a a clip that I've got that I bought a long time ago and put it on my 
uh, strap for my bag. That's my plan. I'm going to try that. Anyway, did I actually ever get to the point there? Did I say that I applied to do photography at the mall for Santa photos? I don't think I actually said Santa photos part. Um, I am trying... Uh, that. That's the thing. I have, I'm determined to pay off my debt faster than that. I, I have free time. It's not great. Of course, I would love to work less and be paid more. Who wouldn't? But that's not the reality of the situation, so I've got to find something else to bring in income. I have camera equipment. I have experience. That's what I would much rather be doing than just, like, go get a retail job like I've done in the past. I've worked two jobs. I worked, I worked an overnight, a full-time 40-hour-a-week overnight, and put in, like, 20 or 30 hours at a day job at the same time, and some of those days would co-align, and it was a nuts, it was an absolute nightmare, so that sucked, but did you flash your lights for a reason, or did you go over a bump and you've got those leveling headlights? Can't tell. I've gone the wrong way. My plan was not to go this direction. My plan was to go another way, and I realized I did not turn where I should have because I wasn't paying attention, so that's good. Usually, my phone is plugged into my car so that I've got maps and everything. I even looked over above the mountain and saw all the clouds and saw how light it was and commented on that and didn't think about the fact that uh, I was going to the mountain. The point of all of this, to summarize, because I just ramble for a while, was to get out and shoot with the still photography camera. It's been a while. I'd like to get back to doing that. Uh, and then, let's see, do I turn here? I feel like that's a turn lane for there, but not the turn lane for, yeah, that's what I thought. Come up to the light here. I was just going to go up on the mountain right outside of town, nice and quick. I left at 6.30, sunrise is supposed to be at 7, so it's about a 30-minute drive, and I figured I'd make it a little bit longer now because I've gone completely out of the way and gone the wrong direction, but anyway. I think that was everything I, I think of that's new and different and worth talking about. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stop recording until I get there. I'm going to drive up a mountain. I don't know how well this is going to come out, but this sky is just beautiful. Just a breath. It was another 15, I think I rambled for about 15 minutes, and then I drove for another 15 minutes up the mountain. Ears are still adjusting. I don't know, something weird happens where I turn the camera and it suddenly like blurt out everything at once and just all go. And I talk over myself and change subjects and the whole, oh, ears, please. It's a good bit higher in elevation. I don't actually know how much. I should look that up. The point is, it's a Saturday morning. It's good. I am out, regardless of the conditions. It is super cloudy. It doesn't matter, like I talked about last time. Just looking to get out, be happy with whatever I can get, and to be experienced doing it. And to document everything. That's really kind of the point, which is why I feel... I think that's why I... Uh, when the camera turns on, I suddenly just spout everything that comes into my mind of, like, what has happened since the last time I talked to a camera. Because regardless of anything else, I think I started this um, for me. I'm glad people are watching it and enjoying it. But for me, this is documenting a, a portion of my life, at the very least, of how things are. And there will be a time where I can't remember any of this. There's already, I can't remember... 
I started this almost a year ago. And that's that thought has been on my mind more and more is what has happened in the last year and how far have I come and grown in different areas. And I want to kind of collect all of that so I can look back and be proud because ordinarily I probably would look back and be like, well, I messed this up and I do that, but it's okay. I'll learn from them and see what I'm still learning from. Anyway, point is, I'm going to get my camera ready. I have arrived at the mountain. I'm going to walk around the mountain. There's snow everywhere, and I'm going to go see if I can find new wildlife. That's what we're doing today. Okay. I dropped my mic through my shirt. Be a little quiet. a good bit of cable sticking out here that I need to tuck away. It is a pretty long cable. Doesn't do too good with touchscreen the thing, but put that up. What I do like is that this handle here is also a tripod. So even though it's not sitting straight, it's still something. crows. That's wild. That's life. First thing I want to do is get this. I want to get the tripod out. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't know. I should check this. Check the audio now that I've moved my mic. I should do that. This is the strap I was talking about, or the clip that I'm talking about that I want to attach. Oh, I think it'll go here and stay. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's by another a good company that makes good stuff, Peak Design, which is also who made that tripod that I like so very much. Just get that stay on here. I hear a bird. Now I've got this, which needs to go on the back of the camera, and I'm going to need a wrench to put it on, so I'll stop recording while I get the wrench out of the bag. I lied. This is attached to the tripod, the nice tripod that I was talking about. It's a mini wrench that folds up. It's perfect. Now I'll attach it to the camera. All right. If that works the way I want it to, that means that this comes off my nice little tripod handle that attaches to the clip I've got around my phone. And then you flip her and go on. Oh, I guess you should go down, shouldn't you? screen around so I can see what I'm doing, which stops the recording, of course. Let's put that on. Oh, I don't have a way to adjust the angle now that it is. Okay. Is it recording out the front? Yeah, it is. All right, this is me testing to see how this comes out, whether or not it will be any good. I have no idea. I'm gonna tuck my mic cable back up into my shirt. Theoretically, you can still hear everything. And then I can take my handle and put that in one pocket. I can close back up. And really, I only want two things out of this bag. I want binoculars, 
And I want the bear mace, just in case. Everything else should be fine. You stay here. Put this on my belt. I suppose I don't need to record all this. I could just record at random intervals once I actually get going. Thoughts I have about this is that because there's no, I need to see if I can get like a little bitty ball mount adjustable head to put onto. Well, don't leave the trap, the binoculars you just specifically pulled out and are going to put in a pocket. I mean, a pocket that I can get to, not the leg pocket that needs Velcro. Okay. There we go. problem is that because of the camera on the phone, I have no idea how to see the screen. If I flip it around, the camera's not nearly as good on the front-facing camera, but then I could see what's happening. The other way is to leave it as it is. I don't know. I'm going to walk for a bit and think and uh, go look for wildlife. I need to set this tripod up and stuff so I can go back to being hands-free. Yeah, there's really no good way for me to reach it. I'm going to have to use the front-facing one so I can have it going or not. That sucks. That's not really what I was hoping for. What am I doing? There's a trail over there. Yes, someone driving through. The mountain at 7 a.m. with your radio going. Thank you. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Audio to the USB mic. That's what I want. Unfortunately, I'm sitting like basically right next to the road, so there's plenty of cars. Um, but I saw something that made me hunker down and sit for a few minutes. It's probably been about 10 minutes. There was a sign there, are, like educational signs, um, mostly talking about how forest fires are okay and how they clear away and actually promote better growth, clear out undergrowth, and the trees are better because of it. But this one in particular talking more about the wildlife. Um, it talked about how there are links somewhere. Car. I don't know how much the law picked that up. Anyway. It talked about links and uh, different type of birds that I saw. And one thing in particular said that this type of spruce and fir uh, forest Owls are here, which are hunted by boreal owls. And I only know boreal from Dark Souls, one of the bosses. Anyway. <laughs> I saw something, it, seeing that sign reminded me to look down and not just up for birds. And as soon as I, I walked a little bit further, and as soon as I did, I saw something scurrying right that way. I was going in between the trees, couldn't get a shot of it, couldn't see it in the binoculars. I just kept seeing it could have been a chipmunk. I'm hoping it's a bull, but I, it could have been a chipmunk or a squirrel. I couldn't tell. Anyway, I hunkered down to, uh, to sit for a few minutes and see if I could spot it, which I couldn't, but it's definitely gone now. I haven't seen it in a good bit. I'm going to keep following the trail and walking and see what else I find. I'll 
make sure I look everywhere. Oh my god. Can't see it when I go back that far. This is the first tree planted on the first Casper Mountain Arbor Day, June 26, 1985. Which is not quite 40 years ago. I don't know which tree. It's just the sign here. I don't, I don't know which tree it is. But that's the first one. I've just been following the red trail. I don't actually, I've never really walked a lot of the trails up here. I just kind of come up. I've only really been a few times because it's usually very crowded. It's not, but I just realized where I am because that's the road over there. And now we're coming up. I can see it through the trees already. Uh, this is the parking lot where I parked in my car. <laughs> so this wasn't exactly the trail that I wanted to take. So we're going to back around. It's only been an hour. I was expecting to be up for a bit longer, but uh, I'll stop here and actually look at the trail map and pick a different direction. The sun is very bright on it. Yeah, Red Trail is the shortest one. Being there, uh, you can't see if I'm standing it, but you can't really see it. Anyway, didn't realize that. That did a, a loop right there. But there's another trail over there that I know about that I've wanted to go on, and I just never have. And it was uh, a specific trail for. Cars coming, there's stuff happening, but there's birds right there. This is not exactly what I was expecting to have happen. It all happened so quickly. I mostly just put this on the vest so I could vest. Put it on the clip so that you could hopefully hear the audio. Let's try to go around my this side. There's a male and female. I wanted you to hear the male has an interesting call. There you are. Yeah. Perfect. I usually don't talk, I stay quiet, but. Hello. Oh, they are together. Yes, there we go.
was a ski lodge. I don't know what it is now. If it's just another cabin, there's several cabins around that you can rent, which I would love to do. My God, if I had the money. I just wake up, he's right here. Okay, so that was super unexpected. I was, I mean, you caught that live. I assume if it's recording. Am I still recording? I am still recording. Um, I just happened to be walking around from the, the trail side. Um, came around the corner to the parking lot. I was actually going to go look at it, and I'll look at it before I leave. Uh, they have a big sign basically blocking cars from driving up here because they're not supposed to be. And I assume it also says no snowmobiling because that's another one that is pretty constant around here. Signs so telling you where you can ski and where you can s snowmobile. Or sled, I think, is what uh, the slang is. It, or at least it is in Canada. Anyway, I walk up and there are birds in the parking lot, which is one that I've really hoped. Well, like as soon as I saw it, I went, oh, yes. Um, it's one that I've really been hoping to see. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but I've got my ID guide in my, in my bag as soon as I... Uh, I'll look and see here in a minute what it was. And then these were definitely the, uh, I'm guessing, downy woodpeckers, a male and female, one, one with the red and one without. What are you? I see something moving there. I realize that this is like the least good angle. I suppose I could mount the phone on top of the top of the camera would be slightly better because it would be locked when I put the camera in front of my face. Or in front of my chest, but who knows. Oh, this guy's walking towards me. I walked away a little bit from the parking lot and where all the people were congregating, like four more cars pulled up while I was standing there watching for the uh, woodpeckers. Walked a little further down. This is interesting. These sticks with red on the top, they've got electric boxes with uh, plugs. And then there are wooden squares on the, this has got to be camping, which I don't, the road's closed here, but maybe. Maybe if you come all the way up around on the other road to these cabins that you can stay in that I hope nobody's currently staying in because it's kind of rude out here with a camera right in their back area, but yeah, that's what it's got to be. I mean, I don't know why else it would be. I don't, I don't do RV camping all that much, only a handful of times, but I am curious what this is. That's definitely what the plugs are for. I don't know what the squares over there are for. Please only put staples in corkboard, thanks. Um, that's stuck up with pushpins. I don't know if you can see, somebody made a smiley face out of the pushpins. I don't, that, those aren't staples. I've never heard those referred to as staples before. Is there anything on the back side? Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep walking. There's definitely cabins here, so I will stop recording, put the camera down a little bit, try to be polite, so in case anyone is staying in these cabins, I'll just keep looking for one of them. Okay, this is interesting. I just walked past the buildings, which I don't actually think are cabins now. I think it's uh, has to do with the skiing and stuff. Because there's machinery out. But then just behind it, you come over here and you find where someone has taken all the down trees. Look at that. Can you see that?
collection of sticks counts as a TP or if it has to have call. That's really cool. Whoops. Uh, all these trees that fall down, stuck them all there, leaned them all up against each other. Anyway, I was going to go back to another trail, but then I saw all that wildlife in the parking lot, which I did not expect for how busy it, you know. I suppose I was technically the only one parked there when I pulled up, when I walked up, and there were birds and things. Huh. Fire going? You can't tell. Maybe. Well, let's see. If I circle back around, oh, well, there's a very big sign. <laughs> I just noticed on the side of that. I bet this is where they moved the ski resort, ski lodge that where the roof collapsed. They just built it up here. I don't think these are cabins that you. Those are definitely restrooms, let me... Binoculars. Yep, that's a sign of donations. Those are companies, and Caster Skiing says thank you. Those are bathrooms, yeah. I don't know where you would go to ski around here. I don't... I wonder if it's this way. I guess I could find out. I don't think people are skiing. There's not really enough snow. There's a little bit of snow, but it's all hard and from the rain as well. I don't think it uh, is good skiing snow. I think you need fresh powder for that. Yeah, you definitely do. That's not really a question because if you fall and it's all iced over, you're just going to hurt. And I don't think, I mean, technically you'd slide, but you're not going to be able to control yourself. I've not actually seen anyone out with skis today. What I have seen is people with those big utility vehicle, off-road, you know, UTVs. They're not really ATVs. I guess technically if they go on all terrains, they're an ATV. I don't know. No, I'm just talking. I'm going to walk this way, see if I find more birds. Check the map real quick to see. Uh, I found that trail bringing me back to the red trail that I originally got on and probably where I got on. So I know about where I was and uh, the last time I came here, I went basically this way off of the trail um, and climbed down, you know, climbed, I walked down a hill to get to some campground areas. And then there's a road right there that I don't know if it's open to cars, but you follow that for a little bit and you actually get to a little trail area that I wanted to walk the trail, but the last time I came, it was just too snowy. But this is nice. A frozen little pond. Oh, oh, you can see the fish under the water. I can see the fish under the water. I don't know if you can see them. I've never seen fish under frozen water. That's really cool. I think the next thing I would like to do is get an adapter for the wireless mic system I have, which technically does have USB-C, and I've used it with this phone once before. Um, 
but it, it requires a plug-in with the cable. And the shortest cable I have is like six inches and it hangs off and it pulls on it and it becomes disconnected. What I need is basically just an adapter that is purely USB-C to USB-C with like nothing. I'm sure that exists. And then I can plug the, uh, the wireless thing in and then I don't have to have it hooked up to me. I can have the wireless pack in my pocket or in my back or something hooked up to the mic and it sends the signal to the phone for the mic. I'd like to get that. I'd like to try that. Okay, this is what I was talking about. This is the Casper Mountain Lions Club Braille Trail. Oop, hey, where are you? In the snow. Are you a squirrel? I think you are. Come on, focus. Yep, you are a squirrel in the snow. Are you gonna jump across the... You're cute. And there you go. Okay. I was here... Jeez, was it earlier this year? Was it last year? I don't know. Um, I imagine it was last year. Uh, before I got the video camera. Because I mostly transitioned to working on video stuff at that point. And I remember being the last time I was here... I stood here and I looked in a tree over there and I took pictures of a squirrel <laughs> and I got it like jumping from branch to branch. It's a braille trail dedicated to the visually handicapped and the sighted of America to enjoy God's unique world of nature built by the Casper Mountain Lions Club and the field site students of Casper, Wyoming. This is super neat. They've got a whole walking trail here. I've been wanting to come and walk this. I wonder if you're allowed to camp here. <coughs> Time I see a uh, um, why is this covered with a oh, I get it. Okay, they covered them all so that it doesn't get frozen over with snow and ice if someone comes along who wants to read or uh, braille, read the braille on the signs. You can't do that if it's all frozen, obviously. So they cover them. That's super cool. I didn't see that the last time I was here. That they were covered, that might be a new thing. Anyway, you can see, hopefully. Can you see? The rocks and things? I don't know. There's a lot of rock formations here on the mountainside. And I always look and hope to see like a, a bighorn sheep or I don't know, a mountain lion? That's what uh, the image in my head is. That you see them perched in the rocks.
found a sign where the cover wasn't quite as blown off. And this is really cool. It's informational and then it's very descriptive. And then they've got the, all of that in Braille as well. I don't, uh, I don't think I want to reach down and touch the water, but I do want to get some shots of the water flowing right there because that's just really pretty. Let me get a little closer, put down the thing. That's coming undone. I gotta stop and tighten that up before this thing falls off. Nope. I hope the angle on this phone is good enough here on my chest. It will bug me if it is super bad. <laughs> but I don't really have another good option. Um, I, I made the determination when I purchased this. First of all, a new phone, because my old one was starting to starting to give up the ghost. Um, but that was when I made the determination that the content I am making, every video will be in 4K, 60 frames per second. That is my preferred format. It's got enough detail that it will last. Some people still aren't using 4K TVs or 4K on their phone or anything, so it's going to be good for a while. There's plenty of people that still shoot in 1080. And nothing wrong with that. It's just not as crisp and clear as I want it to be. And I prefer 60 frames per second for this kind of stuff. Why did I choose to start talking as I was walking uphill? <laughs> Anyway, that uh, getting a camera, I, I want the flexibility of the camera with the size of a phone. I mean like a mirrorless or DSLR. I would prefer to use that. Whew. But one that does 4K60 are big and bulky worth it with the sensor size but not exactly as ideal for this kind of strap it on point and shoot let it go wow look at the trees hopefully you can see the trees because that is one of my main focuses out here. It's not the main focus, but I can't admit that I do like all of the equipment 
learning it, playing with photography equipment. That is a part of it. I like toys. I like to put them to good use. Anyway. This new tripod is great. Um, I just have to tighten it up because it keeps slipping down with the weight of everything and I also lean on it. It's not quite made to support all of that. Um, but again, I just need to try to tighten it up. My last tripod did the same thing where it would kind of collapse while I'm trying to shoot. So I would be, uh, maybe you can see it, I would be standing. As I put weight on it, it pushes down. That's a bird call. Why did that have to happen? As soon as I push the tripod down for an example. This is the moment where if you weren't mounted directly on my chest, you would see more than just the back of my camera. I'm assuming that's where you are, but I am not actually looking. I am eyes searching, looking for what just made that noise. I see no movement. I hear no more calls. I usually am silent, but I feel the need to describe what's going on when I know you can't see anything. Okay, it was further away. It was here and it was gone. I need to get back to, there was a point, oh, two years ago, when I was working in the warehouse, where I found on, um, at the time I was using Spotify, I'll have to look and see if I can find it, um, on Amazon Music, which is what I use now, because they are the actual, they actually stream flackless, flack, flack files, lossless flack files, that's what they're called audio technical stuff. Anyway, they're just higher quality. Anyway, the point was what I found was a uh, an audiobook. It was an audiobook from a man in oh gosh, the 18 or early 1900s. I it was I think it's over 100 years old who would watch birds and comment and had a really good way with words and talk about their migration. And it's just a beautiful book to listen to. Really cool. Um, and the, the, the point getting to that was they edited it in as like background while the narrator was reading the book. Um, they edited in the bird calls of the birds that he was talking about because he pretty much just talked about, you know, every bird that he saw and talks about, you know, how they made him feel and stuff. It's a beautiful book and it's even better with the audio recordings. Point of that being, I'd like to get back to listening to audio recordings of birds so I can start identifying them by their, not just by sight, but by their call. That would be ideal. I think I'm coming back to the beginning of the trail. I don't know what this building is. But yes, there is the beginning of the trail. That's where I was when I started over to the left. I guess they probably have meetings. Maybe the, the club that built this place. Well, that, if you can see, is a door with no ladder. A door that's several feet off the ground and there's no steps or anything. There may be a rope for you to pull yourself up, but that's a pretty big step. What is the point of this shed? Hope you can see. Okay, well, the most birds I saw were at the parking lot, <laughs> which is surprising. It's not like they were eating, you know, food, like you would find gulls or pigeons. Parking lot birds, I suppose. They, uh, they, were, uh, they were out there pecking or something. Anyway, I will talk about what kind of birds shortly when I get back to the car and pull up the identifier because it is one that I've been hoping to see since I moved out here and I looked at what was around regionally. So I think, gosh, it's been like three hours. I'm gonna head back to the parking lot and look around and see if I see any more birds there because since that was apparently a hot spot and then I will pack up into the car and record some more in there talking about what I saw and I will 
think about how to improve these videos. Because that's pretty much what I'm doing, is constantly pushing myself and always wanting to do better and take a step up. I think a wireless mic system would be a good addition. I think a... Uh, I think a chest mount is okay, but it doesn't quite show everything, I assume. I don't know, it's hard to tell, I can't really see it. But a, a ball head like this would be super useful on the phone, because I stopped uh, at the end of the trail and was recording the water that was very peaceful and sounded nice. And I was trying to set it up on the little tripod angle that I have. And it would have just been better if I could have angled it. So I'll look and see about a mini ball head and put that on a wish list for the next time I have some spare money, hopefully, after doing some photography work. All right, back in the car. Have some bird guides and pocket. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. That's what I saw. That's what I've been hoping to see. Oh, if I pronounce it correctly, the pine grosbeak. I don't think it's a grosbeak because it's got uh, just one S. Oh, let's see if you can see that. Bright red conifers, spruce fir forest. Well, that's where we're at. Large, red, small bill, gray flanks, white wing bars, yellowish where male is red. Female is yellowish where male is red, all year local. Um, they've got a beak that, normal beak, right? Beak, beak, beak. Their beak goes like that. It crosses. They're not called crossbeaks, they're called grossbeaks, with a G. There's also the blue one, which is only available in the spring and fall. I think technically we are into winter, so maybe I can look, keep an eye out for the blue one. But, uh, yeah, that's really cool. Do you have woodpeckers? Yeah, we do. Kingfishers and woodpeckers on the back. Um, yeah, they're downy woodpeckers. I know that for a fact. Because I've seen them before, but... I don't think I've seen a male and a female together. I really hope those photos came out. Um, this is cool. Point of these is to mark them off, and I am going to do that when I get back home. Actually, why am I waiting? I have a pen. I, I thought, oh, I, I'm going to need something to write with, but I have it already. Let's see here. saw the pine crossbeak. I'm just going to put a little X next to their name. Should have waited until I got home. Should have double checked. I'm thinking about that now. That I should wait until I review the photos, especially when I can't 100% guarantee. I mean, that's what it was. It was red like that. I don't know what else it would have been, but it's definitely possible that it was something else. And that's why I've got just these field guides here, um, which are nice and slip into the bag really easily. And then uh, all of the... Was it dry? Or did I just smudge it? No, I think it's dry. Okay. I've got all the bird books at home that actually have identifying, you know, every bird in existence. So, I will remember to do, do that and start marking these off as I see them and can identify them properly. Oh, I need to. Yeah, um, that was a good day. It was good to get out and do that. I want to do this more often because I have not been and... What I've been 
considering and thinking about recently with money situations and finding alternatives for work. Um, delivery driver might be another one that I've considered. I saw openings for that and uh, I have a car and I can drive. Anyway. That's going to take up at least one or two more days of the week, with four days already dedicated to the main job. So, getting out as as much as possible to do this. It would not be a permanent thing. I've considered it as just a, here's how to bring in some extra income on the side when I could get a gig shooting, you know, videos. I've reached out to, uh, I don't remember if I talked about it, I did shoot a house for a real estate company last month. Um, that was a big step where I actually went, all right, let's do this. And I started reaching out and they got back to me and they said, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Um, it was just pro bono. I, I did it for them so I could get into my portfolio and start a contact with that company. Um, they don't have any other listings. I'm hoping that the next time they get a listing, they'll remember me and go, all right, you did that one for free. Like, oh, let's, let's do it again. And we'll talk about it being paid. Um, not, I can shoot houses. That's fine. I don't really want to shoot people, but I don't really want to work two jobs either. I'd rather do this full time and just make videos and go out for wildlife and make wildlife videos and start a company producing wildlife content videos and hire someone else to do editing because I really don't like editing. <laughs> that's that's some lofty goals there, but maybe one day. Keep them in mind. All right, I'm going to drive home and uh, take a shower. It's been cold. It was in town. It was freezing, 32 degrees. So up the mountain. Oh, I want to find out the elevation of this mountain. Um, let me Google it on my phone, which is my camera. Another reason why it would be cool to have a camera that could do 4K60 in a small pocketable form. But what I, what I want doesn't really exist. What I want is super small and compact like that camera I had, but that camera I had can't do 4k 60 one day they'll put out a camera of that size that can do 4k 60 it's just so so still new and hard to get and expensive and why would they put all that technology in to something that is so cheap anyway i don't make cameras i can't make decisions i can't talk to you about market trends or things like that what i can do is drive home and hope that all of this sounded good with the lav mic and uh some defrost going on these windows. Good day. I definitely hope to get out um, next week, being off for Thanksgiving. I'll be off. I gotta put in an extra four hours to cover up for, we only get vacation time for eight. So I'll get two, two days of that, which is 16, but to get to 40, I'll work 24 hours. So I'll do two 10 hour days like usual and I'll put in four hours. I'll either do sprinkle it in here or there. I technically could start tomorrow. The week starts on Sunday for payroll. So can't do anything today, but starting tomorrow, I may just clock in and get a couple of hours in here or there um, to make up for it. And then if I do that, then that would put me off Wednesday or Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm, all, I'm off Monday anyway, so that would be five days in a row. So I definitely, assume, assuming the weather is nice, we'll get out at least two, three, maybe times throughout all that. I want to I wanna get back to the habit. I want to keep picking it up. It's been busy, but I don't have any other upcoming gigs as far as I'm aware, unless I hear back from any of the people that I've reached out to, which has been a few just going, hey, I'll do this, you know, I'm still practicing video, but I'll do it for free. Try to reach out to a few different, uh, like local bands um, see if they're interested in getting a video of one of their performances I'll go record that or sports I don't care about sports but if I can do it and I can work a camera it's experience it gets me portfolio it gets me work it gets me paid I'm going home